Today, we're talking about One UI 7, which has been rolling out since April 2025. The update comes with some cool new features like a sleek interface, smoother animations, and some powerful Galaxy Eye tools. But there's a catch. Battery drain issues are becoming a big concern for users, especially those with the Galaxy S24, S25, and foldables. Many users have reported excessive battery loss after updating, and while Samsung hasn't officially acknowledged the issue yet, it seems they might be collecting user feedback through their community forums. A fix is expected in the May 2025 update, so we might get some relief soon. But in the meantime, let's go over some practical tips you can try to boost your Galaxy's battery life. These tips are especially useful for the S25 series, but they should work for the S24 and Samsung foldables as well. Here's how you can combat the battery drain caused by One UI 7's new features. 1. Turn on adaptive battery protection. One UI 7 has a feature called Adaptive Battery Protection that pauses charging at 80% during sleep and resumes later. This reduces power strain and background use. To enable it, go to Settings, Battery, Battery Protection, Adaptive Mode. 2. Use Power Saving Mode. If you want to limit battery drain, turn on Power Saving Mode. It reduces CPU speed and brightness, while still allowing you to use Wi-Fi or 5G to activate. Go to Settings, Battery, Power Saving Mode. 3. Switch to Light Performance Profile. The S25 series comes with a light performance profile that reduces CPU and GPU load, saving power, especially with all the vibrant visuals in One UI 7. To set it, go to Settings, Device Care, Performance Profile, Light. 4. Enable Dark Mode. If you're using an AML LED screen, Dark Mode can really help save power it's perfect for reducing the strain caused by the now bar and the new icons in One UI 7. To turn it on, go to Settings, Display, Dark. 5. Disable Always On Display. The Always On Display, AOD, feature can drain your battery, especially with all the new lock screen features in One UI 7. Turn it off or schedule it for when you're not using your phone. To disable, go to Settings, Lock Screen, Always On Display. 6. Clear One UI Home Cache. Corrupted cache data from One UI 7 can also cause excessive battery drain. To clear it, go to Settings, Apps, One UI Home, Storage, Clear Cache. After that, restart your phone to optimize performance. So those are some simple tweaks you can try to save battery on your One UI 7 device. It's frustrating that these steps can make a noticeable difference until Samsung pushes out a fix, which is expected in May 2025. Have you experienced any battery issues with One UI 7? Let me know in the comments. Samsung is making some big moves, and if you're a Galaxy phone owner, you might have something to look forward to soon. Samsung just announced that it's expanding the side key Gemini support to select Galaxy S series phones. For those of you who aren't familiar, this feature first debuted with the Galaxy S25 series, and now it's making its way to more affordable Galaxy models. So, if you own a Galaxy phone, there's a good chance you'll be getting a nice little software update soon. Samsung confirmed that the One UI 7 update will be rolling out globally to select Galaxy A series models starting in early May. And this isn't just any update. It's bringing Gemini side key support, plus all the other goodies that come with One UI 7 based on Android 15. Now let's talk about which Galaxy A models are eligible. Samsung has shared the list, and here are the devices that will be getting the update in early May. Galaxy A56 5G Galaxy A55 5G Galaxy A54 5G Galaxy A36 5G Galaxy A35 5G Galaxy A34 5G Galaxy A26 5G Galaxy A25 5G Galaxy A25 E 5G Galaxy A24 some of these models like the A56, A36, and A26 already come with One UI 7, so they're getting Gemini's side key support with the May 2025 update. But here's something interesting. Samsung has mentioned that the rollout will focus on premium models first, meaning higher-end devices may get the update sooner, while the mid-range and budget models will follow. So don't be too surprised if you don't get the update right away. And let's not forget that with the Galaxy A56 and A36, Samsung is introducing Awesome Intelligence, a suite of AI features tailored specifically for Galaxy M models. 
We can expect even older Galaxy phones to get some of these AI enhancements once One UI 7.0 is fully rolled out. So if you're a Galaxy user, One UI 7 and a Gemini side key feature are just around the corner. Are you excited for the update? Let me know what you think in the comments below.